All right, welcome back. We're here at uh, Unit 5-2. We're going to look uh, some more at some quadratic equations here, picking up right here in, uh, in our Chapter 9, Lesson 1 work. Here's a math career for you, something called a climatologist. Climatologist is kind of a fancy name for a, a weatherman. Uh, climatologists study climate conditions average over a period of time. They use climate models for a variety of purposes, from the study of dynamics of the weather and climate system to projections of the future climate. Of course, this is a, an important uh, job in a lot, a lot of industries. Um, you can tell the, the math needed here is, is pretty rigorous because you're dealing with a lot of statistics, a lot of probability, and a lot of uh, looking at patterns and so on. In other words, um, good job if you like that kind of thing. Um, Southern California, we have pre some pretty mild weather, but in other places, very, very important. All right, we're still in standard 21.0, just as we were in our previous lesson. And we're really going to be looking at uh, functions, uh, quadratic functions specifically, in regards to their roots and x-intercepts and different, uh, even different words that mean the same thing sometimes. We're going to identify a vertex today. Uh, we're going to find out what a vertex means and determine maximums and minimums. Much easier than you might think. We'll be looking at a lot of pictures today. All right, here's some vocabulary for you. A vertex is the highest or lowest point of a parabola, the highest or lowest point. Remember last time? We talked about that arch and it had a high point. We looked at the bridge and had a low point. Well, the high point of something, of course, is called a maximum. Just, of course, if I were to draw a parabolic shape like this, you can imagine like a roller coaster, you know, a train going up, 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 up. It reaches a high point and then goes back down, okay? And this, of course, here at the top would be the maximum. At the bottom of that roller coaster, you come down and head back up. This would be the low point, okay? So the y value uh, that opens uh, of something that opens upward would be a minimum value. If it does open downward, we're going to call that a maximum value. And that's just kind of a little obvious there in the sense of how the how the shapes are configured. But nonetheless, uh, some vocabulary we'll be using. All right. So let's see here. Recall that y equals ax squared plus bx plus c is a quadratic equation. So this here, okay, a quadratic equation. View the following examples and let's find, see if you can find a pattern. So just take a look at these and see what you find. Take a look here. Y equals x squared. That was exactly how it would look and you saw that yesterday. Here's another one. Y equals negative x squared. Here's one. Y equals 3x squared plus 2x plus 2. We have a lot more uh, stuff going on here, but there's the shape. And here's another one. Y equals negative 2x squared plus x minus 2. So what do you notice about these equations and their corresponding images? What do you see here? Do you see anything? Looks to me like this coefficient out here in front is a positive one. This is a negative one. Well, what's obviously different about these two graphs? Well, one opens upward and has a minimum point. One opens downward and has a maximum point. Notice this. This coefficient here is a positive three, opens upward. This is a negative two opens downward okay and we really showed you these that the uh, the linear the linear term and the constant don't really affect the shape what really affects the shape then it's this number it's the coefficient in front of x squared okay and we'll come up with uh, what we call that here in just a second we call that the a term so if the a term in a quadratic equation is positive then the parabola opens upward in other words a uh, smiley face if someone's positive they might be more tempted to smile more, they might have a, more, a pattern of smiling more often than others if they're positive or if you're having a good day. Um, so in this case, we have a positive, I know there's nothing there, but if there's nothing in front of the x squared, we always know that to be a one, so therefore it's a positive value and is indeed opening upward. What about a negative value? Well, in mathematics here, if this a is negative, then we're looking at a negative, we're gonna get an image that opens downward, and we can kinda easily see that as a frowny face maybe, you know, if we had something like uh, something like this, change my color here, you know, so if we had a little frowny face going here, okay, uh, the, this value here is negative, so we get this downward image like this, all right, all right then, so let's take a look at these, uh, the vertex is the highest or lowest point on a parabola, just like your vocabulary word showed you. So here's our vertex here and here. The lowest point on this one that opens upward and the highest point on the one that opens downward. 
the maximum value is the y value of the vertex when the parabola opens downward. So this is a, the vertex is here and we call that a maximum value, high point of the parabola. And of course, the minimum value then would be the one, the vertex that uh, for the parabola that opens upward. All right, so your turn now. On the following slides, give the coordinates of the vertex and then the maximum or the minimum. So let's take a look at that. And I'll walk you through the first one here. So if we were to look at this shape here, if we were to look for the high point, what do you think the vertex would be? The vertex is somewhere about here. So here's your origin. Over 1, down negative 2. So how about a vertex of 1, negative 2? And what's the maximum point of this? It reaches a height of negative 2. It doesn't go any higher than negative 2, then it goes back down again. So we have the vertex is ne of 1, negative 2. That's the actual literal point at where it's at its highest. And it has a maximum height of negative 2. How about this one? Give this one a try, and I'll give you about, uh, oh, 10 seconds or so. You can always press pause and restart. All right, I'm looking here. Did you come up with a negative one, positive two with a minimum value of what? Of two, very good, very good, two right there. So it does, this parabolic shape gets lower and lower and lower, hits two and it starts heading back up again. How about this one? Can you come up with a vertex and then a maximum or a minimum? All right, well, I'm looking at this. Here is the origin. I'm going to go across 2 and down 1. My vertex is going to be down here, so I'm looking at a 2, negative 1 vertex. And is this a minimum or maximum point? It's going to be a minimum point because it does open upward, kind of a smiley face there. And what is the lowest point of this uh, parabolic function? Looks to me to be negative 1, so minimum of negative 1. And how about this one? Taking a look at that, find the vertex as an ordered pair, tell me the maximum or minimum. Okay, hopefully you got a vertex of negative 1, 4, and it has a maximum of 4. Okay, Pretty simple to see, we're just looking at the graph here, using our eyes to trace up and over. There's also a, a pure mathematical way of finding that vertex, which we're going to get to pretty soon. Alright, in your notebook, state the A value and whether the graph opens upward or downward. So if we've got y equals negative 3x squared plus 4x, taking a look here, what's the a value of this function? Do you agree that the a value is negative 3? If it's negative 3, is this going to open up or down? Negative values are going to open downward. That's correct. How about this one? y equals 1 minus 2x plus 6x squared. Well, the a value, remember, is the coefficient of x squared. So our a value should be positive 6 and it's going to open upward, positive 6. Even though it's written backwards, remember it's always the the a term, the number in front of x squared. Okay, a little bit tougher here. y plus x squared equals negative x minus 2. Hmm, this doesn't look like it's in the same form to me, so let's take a look at this one. I really don't want this. Remember that it's always in this form here. y equals ax squared dot dot dot. So this is not in that form. So I'm going to subtract x squared from both sides. And I'm going to end up with y equals negative x squared minus x minus 2. Now, of course, this piece uh, here at the end doesn't matter. I'm only looking at this. So to me, this looks like it has a, uh, an a of negative 1, and it's going to open downward. Let's see if our computer agrees with us. That's correct. a of negative 1 does open downward. How about this one? Again, uh, y is not alone, but if I move this 2 over, remember that 2 is really not going to impact this at all. It's just going to be negative 2 over here. What's this a value, and does it open upward or downward? Well, the a is 1, and it does open upward. How about this one? Uh, y minus 2x squared equals negative 3. Is this in the proper form? It should be. Probably not. So we're going to move that uh, 2x squared over. What's the opposite of subtracting 2x squared? adding, so we'll put it on the other side, so we should get an a value of 2, and because it's positive, it's going to open upward. All right, and there's your lesson for 5-2. Again, uh, here's another resource for you. Dr. Berger and his associates uh, built the website. There is your uh, keyword, and there's your videos 3 and 4. All right, then. We'll see you soon.